I have been waiting for this moment ever since I proposed to you on Christmas. Finally today, our souls will become one. I want to thank you for allowing me to be a part of your life, being my rock, and soon being a part of your family. The months, days, and moments leading up to our wedding day have been nothing short of busy and exhausting. However, planning this day with you has challenged us to be great together. And knowing today is the day, I am so excited. Our friendship has always been really easy and effortless. There are just some people in this world that you click with perfectly, and she is that person for me. Okay, uh, she, she is one of the nicest, most laid back people I've ever met. Honestly, there's not a bad thing you can say about her. She, once you meet her, you wanna be her friend. Time has passed and we live in different cities, but when we come back together, we pick right back up where we left off. When I first saw Paul and Amanda together, I knew there was something different about this one. I saw that Paul and Amanda were the big picture. They were both ready for something more and they found that in each other. Since the day I met you, I've never been so sure about something. From the beginning, you've made me feel like the only girl in the room when I'm with you. Every day you make an effort to make me feel loved and appreciated. You never leave without kissing me goodbye. You never miss a moment to say I love you. You know just what food I need to cheer me up. And you always know how to put a smile on my face. I'm so thankful to call you my husband and so proud that you're my man. Just hold on to the It is very clear that quickly you guys learn to love each other unconditionally and you have a thrive to be the best partner you can be for each other. And that is why we are here today. time to pause and look back and smile at all the moments that brought us here today and to look ahead at all the moments to come. We're here because we want to have those moments for you. We are here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and remind you that love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment. It's not even this moment. It's every moment. But today the feeling is new. No longer are you partners and best friends, but you have now become husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> First time I met Amanda and I saw my brother with her, you can see in his eyes the love and the care, the genuine care, the support that he's, he has with her. And we get bashful because of the love that he had and the care he had with Amanda. And I just knew to that day that that was something special for my brother. And I told my brother, I said, Paul, I know we, you made mistakes, but do not, do not mess this up because 
the love that you have got from her and the love that you have got from her family, that's special. And that is something that I've always, always told, I've always told Amanda. I always text her sometimes and just say, thank you for the love that you give my brother and our family, and we appreciate that. Amanda and Paul, uh, your life together is just beginning. It'll take a lot of turns along the way. Uh, there'll be glorious days, there'll be sad days, but as long as you have each other, you'll have all you need. Cling to each other, communicate with each other, and always make each other number one in each other's lives. And always remember, a successful marriage requires you to fall in love over and over, never stopping. I love you both. How can it be that right here with me there's an angel miracle? Love is like a river, peaceful and deep. Is there not a hand in this for this? What do you know about it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they do.